it's my Nini and me and today's video is going to be about unpapered towels. Now the real question is what is unpapered towels? Basically unpapered towel is a fabric form of regular paper towels. So I'm just going to do one demonstration of what a regular paper towel and what an unpapered towel could do. So with a regular paper towel you can grab your spray to like clean your surface and then you go and clean your surface with the regular paper towel. Then you would dispose this into the landfill garbage. Now with unpapered towels, I'm going to demonstrate with this amazing chicken fabric. You are going to spray your area and then you can clean with the back side, which is the flannel. So or maybe you can clean with your print side, which is your cotton. They're both absorbing materials. One is flannel, which is the black one, and then one is the cotton print side. We, the reason why we use the black side so they won't eat, show much stain. Eventually, you prolong use your thing, it will wear out, and then. But the black part, it will not gonna show much stains in it. So after you're done cleaning your surface, then you dispose it in your hamper, dirty clothes hamper, or just a regular hamper that you have for the regular on paper towels. Okay, sorry if I talk low, but yes. Okay, so the reason why we use unpapered towels is because it's reusable, it's washable, and it saves money, and it saves our environment because we are washing it and not disposing it like a regular paper towel. Okay. So now I'm going to be explaining the uses of what we use and how we use unpaper towels. Yes, a few demonstrations. So, a uh, first demonstration would be like a pot holder, I'm assuming, I guess. Yeah, pot holder. Yeah. So, you can like grab your pot, obviously not like this, but yeah. Grab your pot, your own. A hot plate pot or whatever. So, it's your pot holder. Mm -hmm. I can see here. So, that's one use. Now, a second use, I'm going to go and use this one hot chili peppers right here. It could be a placemat. Mm. Like so. That can match with your napkin. Yes. And then you can have your uh, utensils in here. And you can take your utensils out and use it as a lap napkin. Mm -hmm. Or you can just use it as a regular napkin for your hands and for your face. And yes. Now another demonstration is going to be a coaster that we use for our mugs right here or cups or or yeah glass. glass whatever you'd like and the best thing also about um paper towel is that you get to choose your fabric print you would like and it can match with your kitchen theme so for example our kitchen theme is chickens so that's what our chi uh, kitchen looks like it has chickens all over so then we got chicken fabric with our chicken Holder. Uh, holder. <laughs> Paper towel holder. Yes. So now, when you're done with, you know, your meal. Okay, hold on. I'm working on it. <laughs> then you would dispose your, um, uh, on paper towels. Okay. Then you can grab another one, and then, like I showed in the beginning, spray your area and clean your area with on paper towels. Okay. Now the next part is going to be folding. So how we fold our unpaper towels into this gorgeous, amazing roll that looks almost identical to the paper towel mm -hmm. is we use this tubing. I've been browsing and then doing research about um, what to use for the paper towel to roll it. A lot of people used um, n uh, net netting kind of thing, and then also the um, the actual actual paper towel um, uh, cardboard? tubing cardboard. but when I went to the hardware store I found this this eight in not inch eight a foot um, clear tube guard for a light light bulb fixture I the long that. one the long one and it costs less than five bucks you can make six of this to and choose eight. the size of your unpaper towel. Yeah, according to the size of your unpaper towel. And then it also have the same length or uh, um, the, the tube part right here as a paper towel. If it's... There's the same purpose. Yeah, same purpose. So you so, cut it 
in sections and then to match the size of your own paper towel. Yes. You're correct. So then when you take your black um ends or whatever and your paper, it will look like this and then it's the same size as your unpapered towels. Now in order to make this amazing roll, this is how you roll it. So you put it at the end and then you just roll it onto it. You would like to make it like nice and tight and even as possible so it will give you the best presentable roll. Then if you see the end, um, you put it in the middle. So this part goes in the middle. And then you fold this or roll it. And the whole process repeats. So um, the middle or the end goes face down. Yeah. And the good thing about the black fleece, not just black, the fleece, the cotton, oh sorry, the flannel part of it, the flannels is clingy. So if you notice, Clingy's if you can hold this please, there you go. See, it just rolls. It just rolls. It just rolls. like a normal um, paper, towel. paper towel roll. Mm -hmm. It clings. So yeah, you just basically repeat this process. Until you have, have your desire two more width or thickness, thickness of your paper towel. And you can make your unpapered towels any size you'd like, any preference you'd like. Mm -hmm. So then it would look like this, like a roll. And you can even replace it like so. You there know? you go. And you can unroll it like so. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is how you use unpapered towels. So I demonstrate the uses, why we use it, and why it's effective, the benefits. And this is our video on unpapered towels. If you have any questions, comment below. Or concerns. And thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.